All right, guys, I am this close, un poquito close, to uh, pounding the gavel and saying it's a wrap for Governor Ron DeSantis. So we have uh, some new polling here, which is so fascinating in so many ways. It's specific. It gets into, like, weird questions. And I have to share it with you because uh, there was a moment where he was tied as the favorite or maybe even the favorite. In the wake of the midterms, Republicans were supposed to have a red wave. They didn't. But Governor Ron DeSantis won by 19 or 20 points in Florida. People were calling him de future. And all of Trump's hand picked candidates got draxed. They were election deniers. They were uh, massively, massively uh, anti abortion, which was a big issue for people in the midterms right after Roe v. Wade was overturned. He hand picked extremists. And the ones who sucked up to him the most were the ones who lost the biggest. But DeSantis didn't want his endorsement, didn't ask for his endorsement, didn't have him campaign with him, etc. And he ended up winning by 19 or 20 points in Florida. So there was a moment where they were tied in the, in the primary polls. But then that went away fast. And so now I want to give you a snapshot of what it's like right now in the race. Okay? So this is the New York Times Siena poll, big poll that came out. GOP primary voters see Trump as stronger and more electable than DeSantis. So when they ask people... Who's a strong leader? 69% of Republican voters say Trump. Only 22% say DeSantis. Quote, gets things done. 67% say Trump. Only 22% say DeSantis. You look at everything Ron DeSantis has gotten done in Florida, and I'm not a fan of the stuff he's done in Florida at all. In fact, I'm against it, and we cover it in detail on this show. But he certainly does get things done. I don't think that's debatable. I think he actually does get things done. And they say Trump gets more things done. Uh, mm, I don't know about that. I mean, he was, he got a lot more done than many of his critics like, like to pretend. But legislatively, I think Ron DeSantis has the upper hand, and that doesn't come through at all in the polls. It's quite the opposite. Quote, able to beat Joe Biden. 58% say Trump is able. Only 28% say DeSantis is able. Oh, that's the one right there. That's the one where I'm this close to pounding the gavel. Because your whole argument was supposed to be, I'm the electable one. I'm Trump 2.0. I'm the smarter version of Trump without all the baggage and all the nonsense, none of the crimes, none of the unhinged truth social posts. I'm the one who's electable. 58% say it's actually Trump who's more electable. All right, fun. 54% say Trump is fun. 16% say DeSantis is fun. That actually almost perfectly mirrors the numbers in, like, the overall numbers as to who you support in the primary. Trump's at, like, 53% or 54%. DeSantis, I believe, is at 17%. This almost perfectly mirrors that. So it's almost like Republican voters are going, I'm just going based off fun. And Trump's more fun. What did I tell you, man? This is the vibes primary now. It's the vibes primary. They don't care about policy. They don't care about substance. They care about who can trigger the libs and who gives me the best show. And on that front, you're never going to defeat Donald Trump. 54 to 16. Trump is more fun. All right, likable. This is where it flips. This is interesting. Trump, only 43% of Republican primary voters say Trump is likable. Only 43%. 45% say DeSantis is likable. He's called more likable. That's interesting because that's one of the ones where I would definitely say the opposite. <laughs> I actually think DeSantis is less likable than Trump because Trump is, like, funny. DeSantis is very stiff. You know, he has... As somebody said to me the other day, he has the personality of wet cardboard. Moral. Who's more moral? Only 37% say Trump is moral. 45% say DeSantis is moral. That's DeSantis' biggest lead. Which, I don't think either one of them are moral. But those numbers, make no mistake about it, are devastating. They are devastating for Ron DeSantis. But here's, again, stick a fork in a moment here. Um, so, Washington Bureau Chief at Semaphore tweeted the following. I know my feed is all this New York Times poll, but, but cannot stop finding highlights. Fighting woke corporations, probably DeSantis' top issue, is somehow a loser among Republicans. So here's what they say. Which of these two Republicans would you be more likely to support in a Republican primary? A candidate who promises to fight corporations that promote woke left ideology, or a candidate who says that the government should stay out of deciding what corporations can support? Only 38% want a candidate who fights woke corporations. 52% want a Republican candidate who stays out 
and doesn't tell corporations what they can and can't support socially. So again, he leaned in. This is his number one thing. Woke, 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 woke. We're going to fight the woke in the halls. We're going to fight the woke on a goat. We're going to fight the woke in a moat. You know, he's, this is all he talks about. That's a losing issue among Republicans. And it turns out the objection that Leland Vittert had, conservative host on News Nation, he said, this isn't the conservative approach. The conservative approach is small government. We want government out. So let companies, if they want to be woke, let them be woke. If they want to be anti-woke, let them be anti-woke. Stay out. That's the conservative principled response. Turns out conservatives agree with Leland Vitter. Turns out they agree with Laura Ingram, or no, excuse me, not Laura Ingram, uh, Megyn Kelly, who said to DeSantis' face, like, aren't you doing the same thing you accuse your opponents of doing? Having big government get involved in stuff they shouldn't be involved in? You're suing Bud Light because they had a trans ad? Who are, like, what is this? Turns out people agree more with Megyn Kelly, with Leland Vitter, the standard Republican position is the old school Republican position of small government. Not, I'm going to use big government to fight the woke. This might spell doom for DeSantis. Nobody has ever overcome this big of a lead this late in the primary process. The massive wild card is that Trump is uh, charged with 784 felonies. <laughs> so, so he might end up, I think the cases are going to, you know, be decided though, after the primary which means he'll probably win the primary, and then in the general, it's a whole separate question. But I'm telling you, nobody wants this process sped up more than Ron DeSantis, because at this point, it looks like the only hope he has is if Trump is behind bars before all the voting in the Republican primary. That's what it looks like to me. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.